Well, hey there, folks. I'm putting a new fuel pump in the 2000 Ford Expedition, and I'm not putting it in there because it stopped working. I'm putting it in there because the fuel gauge stopped working. So let me show you what I found. And these AutoZone fuel pumps have come back to bite me in the ass over and over and over and over through the years. Folks, if it's a fuel pump where you have to pull the tank out, spend the money, bite the bullet, and get OEM. I don't care what you drive, a Ford, a GM, a Chrysler, a Toyota, Honda, whatever it is. Bite the bullet. I know this, and I'm still not doing it because these damn things are still under warranty. Okay, so let me start off. The OEM fuel pump lasted for 150,000 miles. When it died, I went to AutoZone. They were selling AirTex air, uh, fuel pumps at the time. Biggest piece of crap pumps ever. I went through three of them in two years. You can imagine how pissed off I was. They would just quit working. Then they started carrying the, uh, the Delphi pumps. Not just quality, Delphi quality. Well, I don't know exactly what that means. But this pump has lasted for five years now. But there's problems. Let me show you. So here's the old Delphi pump. There's a problem. The float's not in there anymore. So I have no, no gas gauge. It's always empty, right? Here's the float. It was in the tank. Now I could see if that came off the end and it came off. But look. It actually deteriorated from moving. Hollowed it out. And the stupid float fell off. <laughs> okay. That's within uh, four or five years that happened. Now, I'm getting ready to put the new pump in. And I just start looking at the old pump to make sure it's the same. So I look at this. Look at the insulation over this wire. I'll tell you what. It wasn't an inch and a half too, uh, too long when I put it in there. This insulation actually grew from being soaked in fuel. And not only did it grow, it split while it did it. Delphi, if you're watching this, you should be ashamed of yourself. You can see it split. And look at the wiring inside of it. It's all corroded. It's starting to get the greens on there. Well, if this would have come down a little more and these arced, I wouldn't have had a fuel pump anymore. And this wasn't going to last much longer anyway. I mean, this is exactly how it came out of the box when I bought it. I mean, it was new looking. I don't know if this is just discolored or it was building up resistance and heating up in there. But you know what? It's probably a good thing the float fell off so I can go ahead and replace it. So here's a new one. They have different color wires. Is it fuel resistant? I don't know. It might be Teflon wire. I'm not sure. Um, it is a different fuel pump in there. You can see that one actually has a harness going to it. That one just had the two little spade connectors on there. What they did do here, it's the same material, but they, uh, so they obviously knew this was a problem. They put an indention in it so it can no longer move around. So hopefully that'll last longer and they put a longer piece on the end so that they obviously knew that was a problem. So I'm going to go the Delphi route again because it's under lifetime warranty. This will be my second Delphi. I went through three AirTex pumps, which I'll never purchase one of those again. I'll never purchase any aftermarket fuel pump ever again. I'm only doing this because it's under warranty and it's a $200 pump. Who knows how much it is through Ford. Uh, these are a lifesaver to get fill out of your tank. They run on two AA or diesel batteries. I still had 12, 12 and a half gallons in there. Got it all out. That's good. Um... See, that's when I put that that's when I put that Delphi pump in there the first time, 42716. 
So, yeah, about five years there, which is a hell of a lot better than those Airtex pumps. I'll give it that. Um, I have cleaned the inside of the tank, so it's all nice and clean. I didn't want to use, uh, I was going to rinse it out with soap and water and let it dry, but I figured, you know what, let's get all the dirt out, or all the fuel out. And, you know, dirt builds up over the years from all the crap at the pump. So I just kept putting in a little bit of fuel, sloshing it, getting all the dirt to this end here. And just kept uh, pumping it out with that pump till I got everything out, till it's clean now. And then I wash the outside of the tank so that way I don't get filthy again putting it in. I did break this little emission Y here. I'm going to go up and get one real quick. If not, I'll, I'll make something. But this here is the 30-gallon tank because this one is equipped with air suspension. So as you can see, they stamp air suspension on the tank. And uh, if you have air suspension on your Expedition, then you get the... The 30 gallon tank which is nice anyways do not buy aftermarket fuel pumps don't do it spend the extra money go to the dealer OEM is the only way I understand AutoZone offers lifetime warranty on these pieces of crap if you drive a Ford Ford offers you a two-year warranty you know what That's, it's, it's gonna last it's gonna last for hundreds of thousands of miles compared to this junk all right, y'all be good out there.